Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the new facility event, Dream Big Under the Big Top. Now this event released earlier this week on Tuesday, January 15th, the same day that the new Summon Showcase came out. And I just want to talk about what I've been liking about this event so far, show some of my progress with completing the challenge battles on the event, so I have a couple of gameplay videos for you today. We're going to start off with my first attempt at the extra boss battle. Then we're going to look at my first attempt at the challenge battle on expert difficulty. And finally come back and I'll show you when I got my deathless attempt for the first time on expert difficulty once again. So as you may notice in that lineup, I haven't beaten the challenge battle on Master yet, or gotten a Deathless run on Master yet, and it is pretty hard, but well worth doing. So I'll show some of the footage in the video, but when you complete that, you are going to get 500 Wormites, as well as a special epithet associated with that. So I will try to bring you the completion or the clear of that whenever I'm able to get it, probably next week, because my advice on this is you really want to focus on your facility for now. For the first four days or so of the event, that's how long it'll take you to build up your facility if you're proactive about it, if you don't want to spend any Wormite in order to expedite that. So go ahead and start to level up your facility if you're not already doing so. If you have extra Smith Worms, you can put those towards your Light Altars because that will also help, depending on which units you're bringing to that challenge battle. And of course, just as a reminder, as on all these facility events, it's the boss battle, an extra boss battle, where you're going to be able to grind up your materials, in this case tent canvas, needed to level up that facility. So just keep that in mind, do those boss battles to get that material. In this case, those are Welcome to the Fiend Circus and Fiend Circus Encore. And after you do that and have enough materials to fully level up your facility to level 30, that's when you want to start doing that challenge battle top star trial. So I do think it's cool that they added a master difficulty to the challenge battle. It gives something for players to work on, especially players who are more enfranchised and already played a previous light facility event. The event itself, I found the story to be a little bit underwhelming this time around. It was cute at moments, it had some charm. Annalie and Fritz I think were shown off fairly well, but ultimately I just feel like there wasn't a whole lot of development, there wasn't a really great theme explored this particular event. So for that reason for me this is probably one of the weaker stories we've seen. However, the rewards are really good this time. So I mentioned that Master Difficulty Challenge Battle, and both on that and Expert, you're going to be getting somewhat higher rarity weapons and you can get extra copies of the free worm print from this event, Astounding Trick. So on the expert difficulty you can get the worm print as well as some 4 star weapons and on master difficulty you can actually get 5 star weapons. They're just the base level so none of these require super special materials but also there's a chance of getting Twinkling Sand which is a very rare material. So for me, this is something I'm going to look to play a lot after I get to the point where I can consistently clear it. Because right now with my facility level only being in the 20s and not being able to clear that consistently, not having a game plan in mind going into that, I don't think it's worth spending so much stamina or trying and trying and just resetting. So I am just doing expert right now getting my Renown up there, starting to clear out the treasure trade, more and more copies of Astounding Trick, and then some of the upgrade materials. So that is my plan. Astounding Trick is a really good worm print. This is right up there with Plunder Pals being one of the best free attacking worm prints we've ever gotten. The strength boost this provides when your HP is 70% or above is identical to the boost that you see on Crystallion Envoy which is another pretty highly regarded attacking worm print. The secondary effect on that worm print is flame resistance, and this worm print doesn't have that, so it's definitely worse, but it is easier to max on binds 
and that puts its stats somewhere between a max unbound 4-star worm print and a 5-star worm print from the gacha pool. So this is a really great one to pick up. It's honestly so good that I might keep multiple copies. And I'll probably start for now by leveling up 1 to level 100, fully unbound. But of course, as you're grinding out the event, typically what you'll want to do is have first one of these on each person on your team. If you didn't get any better worm prints from the gacha, have one of these on each person on your team. Then slowly unbind the copy that's on your leader until you're able to max unbind it. And at that point, you would have two others on the rest of your team, or potentially three if you were able to get some as rare drops. As for the content of the battle, I do think they've amped up the difficulty in an attempt to get people to try to summon on the showcase. Poison Res being pretty rare and Ron being somewhat hard to use. You'll see that I've chosen to bring along Ron here because he does have up to 100% Poison Res. I haven't gotten that far in his mana circles, but what I found is his Slayer's Strength is honestly pretty hard to land on the small moving targets of this map especially some of the vermin, the squirrels basically, that leap around. It is really hard to land a force strike from a bow onto those. So I think that ultimately using Ron isn't a bad idea with his poison res, but he isn't going to be super effective unless you're an ace shooter with that bow. Besides that, some of the characters I've heard being very effective are Julieta. Julieta has Slayer Strength, so just by defeating any foes, she is going to power herself up. She also has Poison Res that goes up to 100%. Built-in last recovery in case her HP goes low. So she is an amazing character for this event. And even though she doesn't have Poison Res, I've also heard Hildegard is an amazing healer and I've been building her up in order to utilize her too. Her shield is really nice and her healing is really nice to counteract Poison. Fritz and Anneli, if you summon them, are going to be great picks. And just in general, I think this really encourages trial and error. I haven't seen one particular strategy, especially for Master, come out as the dominant strategy. And perhaps it's a bit early and I haven't looked far enough to find that particular formation, but I think that even mixed element teams, just depending on who your strongest characters are, that might be who you need to bring to this content. Now I'd be pretty happy if at the end of the day I'm able to clear it once and hopefully clear it without any of my characters dying. So I can get the full amount of Wormite from this, 500 from the Endeavor, and then 25 from completing all the Endeavors and getting a Deathless run on the quest. So that is gonna be my goal as I build up my facility and level up my characters, build out their mana circles over this weekend. And I'll report back next week once I'm able to get it clear. I think it's gonna be doable, so we're gonna wait and see. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your experience has been like with this event. I'm always a big fan of facility events because I like tackling content on my own sometimes. It gives me a lot more flexibility with my schedule, with other things going on. As compared to raids, there is a bit of grind to this event if you really want to get those twingling sands, but I'm probably going to take this one pretty casually because I played so much during the New Year's raid. Like I said before, let me know how it's going for you, what you think of this event, in the comments below. Otherwise, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time.